Hi, it's Carrie. In this 5-Minute Friday, we're going to look at proximity searching in PubMed. We're in the last week of November, the first week of December 2022, and this week PubMed announced that finally we can do proximity searching in this platform, which we could never do before. So this is going to be a really useful tool, and I encourage you to play around with it and see what you get. So I'm going to show you how you can do proximity searching in PubMed. It's not intuitive. It's not like other platforms you may have used where you write near or next or adjacent or prox. Instead, we're using field tags, and we're using those field tags to tell PubMed what's the distance between the words, up to what distance. And so I have a couple of examples for you. The first thing I'll note is that your terms need to be in quotes. And this doesn't mean that we're looking for this term as a phrase. It means that these are the two words we're interested in. And today I'll try spine fusion. The next thing we need to do is add the field tag. And proximity searching is only going to work in the title field tag and the title abstract field tag. I'm going to search with title abstract field tag, which is T-I-A-B. The next thing I'll do is a colon. And then we do this, this little wiggly symbol, which is in the top left of your keyboard, and choose a number. I usually start somewhere under 10, maybe 3, 6, or 9. Let's try 6. And then you close the bracket, the square bracket. That's your field tag, and we're saying look for spine and fusion within six words of each other in any order. And now we'll click search. And because I'm logged in, I can see my search terms highlighted, which I think is so helpful. I have another video on that that I did a couple of months ago. And here we see these words in any order within a six word distance of each other. So that's pretty cool. I'll show you a couple more. I'll do induced hypothermia, end quote. Open the square bracket, we'll do T-I-A-B, and then we'll do the colon, the wiggly sign, we'll do six, close the bracket, and search. And here we are getting those words within six words of each other. We got 7,000 results. If we were to take this down a notch and say within three words of each other, it would make the search more specific. We should get fewer results within two words of each other. And that brings it down even more. So play around with that. One thing you can't do with this function is truncate your search term. So if I were to try induced hypotherm asterisk, which is a truncation symbol, click search, I get an error message. Proximity search cannot be combined with a wildcard, proximity operator ignored. And I also can't do this, as I mentioned, without quotes. So if I take my quotes away and search, it also gives me an error message that it's going to ignore because it requires double quoted terms. I've got one more for you. I think this could be really useful for age ranges and age groups. So let's say we did kindergarten. You can do multiple words in your quotes. Kindergarten, second grade, quote, bracket. Let's do title this time. We'll do T-I colon, we'll do wiggly sign, and uh, seven. We'll just do something different. Let's see what we get. We'll click search. And we get 17 results that have kindergarten, second grade in the title, in any order. Uh, let's make it a little broader because that would have been pretty easy to search for, probably without proximity. And then we get 184 results, kindergarten, second grade. One thing to note is that you absolutely can combine this with other search terms. So it could be part of your broader, more comprehensive search, or we could simply do something like language or lexical and just see what we get with that. So you can combine these terms with other search terms. I hope you have fun with this. It's a great, useful feature that I am so looking forward to, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>